Okay, so we are back after a little bit of a break. We are still in Istanbul. But on the European side. So before we were on the Asian side, it was a nice little like chill place to lay low for a little bit, but very, very far from all the cool stuff to do. So now we're really close to all that. We have a nice, beautiful Airbnb with the stunning views of the Golden Horn. Yes, great sunsets. Lots of seagulls. So we're going to be going out a lot more, doing more fun stuff. I think the first couple places we're going to hit up is... Topkapi Palace. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to go to Lumele Fortress. It's like a medieval castle. Should be interesting. And the kids are, of course, hoping to find lots of cats. Lots and lots of cats. <laughs> I just ran down those steps. Can you go see? Just How much was it? 25 lira each. It's cheap. Which is a little over $3. Oh my goodness, there's cats coming everywhere. They're coming everywhere. Just all these five kids. Look how there's more. Oh my goodness, they probably love it here. We have to find names for all of them. It's so crazy that you said this fortress was built in four months. Yeah. How is that even? Possible. Yeah, and they had to have material shipped in by sea. What? Yeah. You said it's the oldest yeah. standing. This fortress and the fortress across the water are the Still oldest. Still in Istanbul, the oldest one. Oh my goodness, look. <laughs> it crawled in there. I think it likes it in there. I think it actually kind of likes it in there. Are you going to take it back with you, Layla? It didn't want to leave. <laughs> Galaxy is like my favorite. I think she likes being carried around crazy is there's no railing whatsoever like I mean right here is fine but on the edge it's it's a little scary <laughs> this fortress was built in 1452 by I met the conqueror during the conquest of Constantinople which is why it was built so fast because they needed it in a hurry they booked it and they got it done and it's still standing it's pretty remarkable This is the thinnest point on the Bosphorus, which is why Mehmet wanted to build the fortress here. Also, there's another fortress. I'm not sure if you can see it on the other side of the water. Considering this place was built in four months, in 1452, it's pretty gigantic. I think it said that it covered 30,000 square meters, which I'm not sure what that converts to, but it sounds like a lot. There's a lot of steps. It's very tall. Safe to say this is the biggest fortress we've ever been in. What about our other fortress? Cliff? Mm -hmm. It's safe to say that we have not been adventuring and I'm a little winded. <laughs> <laughs> I have you, right? It's, it's tall, it's about 60 feet, but I was surprised by the thickness. It's five to seven meters thick, which is what, 15 to 20 feet in thickness, which is quite a girth. <laughs> She's a girthy one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thoughts for, um, about what? About this. About life. What? Everything. I don't know. I mean, there's more cats. Oh my word. Can you talk about anything else? Um, it's pretty. <laughs> but look at the beautiful view from up here. And the, the stairs are really steep. And look at the beautiful view. It's worth it. Thank you. You can tell um, when you really start to examine the different pieces that they really did, like hodgepodge everything together because there's marble and what looks like brick and stone and even some column pieces. Did you hear what we said? How long do you think it took for them to build this fortress? I thought like you were going to say months? something like, let's get ice cream after this. <laughs> it took only four months. Really? Months. With all the stones that you have to put and it's huge. And it's still standing. How many people did it take? I don't know. We should look Probably and see. Probably a lot. That's why it only took four months. I want to go up the spiral staircase. Alas, the door is locked. 
the uh, ingenuity of Mehmet is super impressive. Um, it's all it took to put together all this in the midst of a siege. Must have been pretty taxing. And during the siege, he had to walk up all these stairs. <laughs> it's like, I need to get home. <laughs> did you know that Mehmet built this fortress in Top Poppy Palace? Yeah, I did not know that for a fact. He built this during the siege, and then right after that, he's like, I need me a palace. <laughs> and my wife. And my mom. And my mama. Lots of mom stuff in the palace. They love their mamas around here. Heaven. Yeah. So, yeah, this is an amphitheater area, I think. I mean, it looks like an amphitheater. But there's a mosque in the middle of it. I mean, I know the mosque is part of the original structure. It says that the... The mosque was originally built when Mehmed built the fortress, but then it was destroyed. Um, so it was just redone in 2015. Uh -huh. So that's why it looks pretty new. First signs of spring. Uh, <laughs> Catfight. I didn't do one <laughs> Attitude. These cannonballs are pretty big, but I don't think they are the cannonballs I wanted to see here today. We've been watching the Netflix show, Rise of the Ottomans, and they've got like the cannon, cannons that are the size of like, I don't know, vans. <laughs> I want to see one of those. Pretty astounding that this old Ottoman material is still intact after 570 years or so. These may be more of what I was looking for. These cannonballs, those are ridiculous. If you're trying to bust through the walls of Constantinople, that's one way to do it. We just learned the other day that um, the cannon that Mehmed used in the siege to conquer Constantinople um, needed a hundred oxen to pull it, which a, is big. A big cannon. Big cannon. We left the fortress grabbed some cappuccinos and it's getting a little chilly out. We're gonna walk on this boardwalk for a little bit. We made it back and got takeout from a local place that has really good reviews. This looks so good. Mm, authentic Turkish food. Family style. And you just tried the chicken wing? I sure did. Yeah. It's amazing. You know, it's just a couple guys standing over a, an open charcoal grill. Yeah. Bit. It's super, super good. And enough to feed all of us for how much? 85 lira? You know, like less than $12. Wow. Yeah. We'll probably be coming back here. Today we're at Top Copy Palace. We're at <laughs> Top Copy. We are at Top Copy Palace today. It was home to many sultans. How, how many? I don't. Many. <laughs> First was Mehmet, the conqueror of Constantinople. For hundreds of years, this was home to many sultans um, and their wives. We don't know how much we're gonna be able to film today inside because I think um, photography isn't allowed at a lot of the places. We'll see what we can get. We just walked through the first and second gardens of the palace and then walked through the throne room of the sultan where there was a pretty uncomfortable but nifty looking uh, throne from the 18th century. It's pretty fancy. Yeah, pretty fancy. Gold. Emerald, I think. A really big sofa beside it or something. <laughs> yeah, it was also, there's another name for it. It's called the administration in hall. Administration. Yeah, so basically the Sultan would accept his guests and the powerful people that would come visit him and playing with him, receive them out there in the hall. So we're all really excited. We're about to go into the Holy Relics Room, which is where I'm standing in front of right here. And there's said to be some really cool artifacts in here. Just got out of the Holy Relics room. It was super somber, chill. Like we had to wear the head coverings. There was a guy that was singing the Quran, like live. It was pretty, 
spectacular. That's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of the relics were uh, the Sword of David, the Staff of Moses. It like, was not what I expected, though. Like, it was almost like a, more like a twig. It was really tense. <laughs> and it was probably like, I don't know, four foot? Yeah. The Sword not of David like, was cool, though. Yeah, the Sword of David looked like something you said from like Lord of Lord the Rings. Lord of the Rings, Rings yeah. They had all this crazy inscription. inscription and what was the bowl? Abraham's bowl of some sort. <laughs> It's like a pot, pot of Abraham. Yeah, Joseph's person. turban. Yeah, which at first we were like, is all of this real? How do they even have this? How do they know it's real? But at the time, the Ottoman Empire was so powerful, they were able to collect. And expansive, too. Yeah, they were able to collect relics from all over. They also had John the Baptist's arm. Yeah. And then there was a ton of um, stuff from Muhammad. Um, his footprint. Footprint, mm -hmm. some beard hair. A lot of beard hair. A tooth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's pretty, quite the collection of relics and artifacts. Nothing we've ever, we've never seen anything yeah. that old before. So that was pretty amazing. Pretty crazy. Is, now, obviously, this is a museum, but in the time of the sultans, like you couldn't even come here unless you were invited. Um, and then, even then, you weren't able to see the sultans' quarters and the harem. So it's kind of neat to be able to see it. So we just read a sign that did confirm um, harem means a holy place where not everyone is allowed to enter in Arabic. So this was the family's quarters. This is where the Sultan and his wives and all their helpers lived and no one was allowed to enter, but we can. is pretty great from up here. <laughs> Abby. People are watching. Sorry I said that word. It sounds so funny now I can't say it. It's pretty amaze balls. <laughs> Thank you. 